News 4 has learned the motorcycle that threw a Buffalo woman to her death may have been traveling at speeds well in excess 100 miles an hour. News 4's Rachel Kingston has more now on this tragedy. It is a haunting premonition. Two hours before 24 year old Chelsea Olson died in a motorcycle crash, she posted this picture on her Facebook page with the caption, We got a need for speed. We do have reports uh, from witnesses that they were traveling at a high rate of speed. And based on our early investigation, it does look like that was the case. Olson was a passenger on a bike driven by 29 year old Joseph Ayers. They were cruising north on Route 400 in West Seneca around 10 o'clock Tuesday night with the bike in Olson's picture right behind them. Ayers suddenly came up on a pickup truck. His bike slid underneath it and Olson was thrown from it, landing so hard her helmet snapped off. Originally from Ithaca, Olson worked as a nurse in the ICU at Millard Fillmore Gates. Back on Facebook, friends from home, school, and the medical community are remembering Olson's vivaciousness, fire, spirit, and never ending energy. You lived life as full as you could. What a wonderful childhood we had together, one recalled. My other half, how I miss you already, another mourns. I'm sad that I will never see you smile or hear your voice again. Olson is the second person to be killed in a motorcycle accident in western New York in just four days. 50 year old Fred Lowenberg lost control of his bike and crashed in South Buffalo Saturday afternoon. It's hard enough riding a motorcycle and having to worry about what the cars are doing, but uh, traveling at high rates of speed and, and taking chances, especially if you haven't been on your motorcycle in the last several months. Uh, it's just not a good idea. Um, it's, it's too early to have two fatalities in our area. In just the last hour, I've learned from sources that charges are pending against Joseph Ayer. Tonight, Chelsea Olson's family is asking for privacy and time to grieve, and we are respecting that wish. Live, Rachel Kingston for the 10 o'clock news.